Okay, so every time we make a change to our index.js file, we have to restart our server, and that's just super annoying, and we don't have to do that. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get around that. So there's this thing called node mon, stands for node monitor, and it will run in the background and monitor your system every time you make a change to your main file, and it'll restart the server for you. So we're going to go ahead and install that right now. So it's just npm install. Now we want dash D because... That stands for development. We only want this running on our computer. When we push our app up into the, into the cloud for web hosting later on, we don't want that thing to run there. We don't want the node mon to run there. Uh, we just want it to run on our computer. So that's that dash D flag will do that. And then just type node mon. And all right, that looks like that worked. Now we need to make a quick change to our package.json file to sort of um, reflect that. So let's see, we come up here and in scripts, we need to write a couple of scripts. So and we could just delete over test with start. Now, normally when you start an app, you type in node and then the name of the file index or index.js. So here we do this, put a comma and then let's create a, a second one. Let's call it dev for our development environment. And for that, we want node mon index. All right, so go ahead and save that and we can close this. And now from now on, instead of typing node index.js, we will type npm run dev. And you see, we still get the server listening on port 5000 thing. And now why run dev? Well, we're telling the node package manager to run our dev script that, where did it go, is right here, which will then run this, right? Uh, so that's all we have to do. And now, from now on, when we make a change to our index file, or index.js file, we won't have to restart the server. And we can just hit reload on our browser and it will just work. So super, super useful, super valuable. Yeah, stopping and starting your server every time is not a huge deal. But when you have this little program that will do it for you, it, it just, it you'll notice it, it does help. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we'll start to look at handlebars.